Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to your extended. My name is Jane and I'm going to be doing your second reading of the day. If you haven't seen the first one I would go watch that yet because all of these cards were already pulled. Basically you're a big mess. You're a big mess Pisces. You're a big beautiful mess. Our humanity makes it that we have all kinds of things that we have to deal with every single day. Okay? All of these cards represent how some days we feel great, how some days we feel crappy, how some things, some days we know what to do, some days we stall on what to do, some days we know what to put in our balance baskets, and some days we just sit there and feel sorry for ourselves. But in any case, Pisces, this is beauty in itself. The journey is just a whole bunch of stuff that's just trying to lay us into the harmonious vibration that we need to be going into to get where we need to go. I'm going to pull from the Gaia card because I feel the, the, the connection to the planet, especially with uh, uh, the full moon in Taurus. And uh, so you got the sacred earth mother. Of course we do. Of course we do. And the number is 42, which is uh, 6. 6 is also always good for me. Always feels good to me. 369, some of my most favorite things. So let's see for this card what it says. 42. Let's read that for you. Sacred Earth Mother. So you have a message of love. Here you go, Pisces, from Spirit. They're starting out with a message of love. We travel us the endless corridors of our mind until one day we find a pathway that leads us to our heart. Beautiful. Who you truly are has nothing to do with your personality or your achievements, successes, or failures. The you you think you are is an actor, playing a role that your soul has chosen. The essence of you is soul, light, no beginning or end. You are an eternal spark of pure creativity and limited potential that yearns to be expressed and fulfilled. Your potential is your destiny. It awaits your call. Trust your heart and apply its love and wisdom to all you do. In this way, all you create or do will be a true expression of your soul. It is through expressing your truth that you can create things of lasting value. Be true to you, Pisces. So this is it. This is being you. The mess which is you. The beauty which is you. That is leading you to your harmony and your love and your fulfillment, Pisces. It's All so great. Right. So look at that. I'm going to take from the mystical moments to do clarity on this. You are beautiful, you have beauty within you, you have messy within you, you have everything within you. How do I feel about this reading? Scattered and messy. Beautiful. It's all beautiful. It all applies. Everything applies, Pisces. Woo. The Knight of Swords. Yeah. I've been feeling that a lot today. I've been feeling like the readings are scattered. Um, not me, but the readings themselves. Um, I am feel like I'm, I'm, look at her, she's like, she's cutting through clouds. So, <laughs> um, what do I feel about cutting through clouds? It's being ready for battle, going into battle. Sometimes the battle's worth it, sometimes it's not. Some days you feel like you've accomplished something in your battle. And then you look at it years down the road and you think that battle was for nothing. You were cutting clouds, splitting hairs. Is that what it says? Yeah, and she's floating on a feather. Not very stable. It's, it's, it's kind of a thing, you know, you ha you're relying on the wind. And this is what I feel with this card, it's the wind of change. What this means for this reading, Pisces, is that don't be too hard on yourself. The knowledge that you have today may change by tomorrow. And that was makes us messy and beautiful. Okay? 
don't be so hard on yourself. A lot of the times we think that wisdom is by disproving something that we believed in the day before or the years before. And we think, oh, I'm much wiser now. I know a lot better now. And for the most part, that is true. But you're not wiser than tomorrow. And there'll always be tomorrow as long as you're on this journey. So don't be too hard on yourself from the past. Because you'll learn more in the future. So be happy with what you learn and all your experiences and all the messes that, that have come and gone. Because again, this is working towards your harmony. Okay? Sometimes we feel like we fail a lot at different things. We fail into the harmony. And they want you to feel normal. It's not normal. Okay, that's not the right word. They want you to feel... It is normal, but it's, that's not what I meant. It's... Help me out, spirit. What's the word here? They, help, they want you to feel fine in your everyday. They don't want you to live in regrets of the past or hoping that the future is better. They want you to live in the right now. You can hope a bit for the future, but don't live there hoping that it's going to make everything right. Because what's right is right now. There you go. Much better. Thank you, Spirit. They're helping me a lot today. I'm having problems. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles, right. Getting hung, hung up on assessing situation is what I'm getting. We're constantly assessing. We assess so long and hard on everything that we've done, everything we're about to do. It's just so tiring. And I'm, I feel a little bit tired because of that. I am, I am feeling tired. And the editing, the persevering. We're such, we're such busy bees when it comes to life. Whether it's stuff that's good for us or not. Whether it's relevant or not. And it, it, that's the thing. It doesn't really matter. They don't want you to be too tough on yourself. They also want you to enjoy life more. Take it as it comes. Don't live in the past of mistakes. Don't live in the future of hoping, doing the right thing. Just hope for what you would like and work on the now. This will get you much further to where you're going. And when that dead Jupiter, when Jupiter starts coming in, okay, those, those beautiful opportunities to make things happen, you're going to be able to really, you know, sink your teeth into it like this, this apple, okay? This big apple of opportunity that's here, you're going to be able to sink your teeth right into it and not care so much about the outcome. Okay? Because good or bad, you're moving forward and you're concentrating on the right now. Ooh. Okay, so we have two that came out. We have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, control. And the Four of Wands. Right, I love the fact that they came out together. So the Four of Pentacles is like being too controlling, too possessive of the situation. You're too possessive of the outcome. You're too possessive of of the past, of what you did wrong. You, con you try to, to control whether it was right or wrong. Okay, you get hung up on that, on that illusion of things that have happened. When what you should be doing is just kicking off your shoes and celebrating, okay? And starting, in, in, instead of trying to hold a house so that it doesn't fall down and barricading it, you should be dancing on the roof. <laughs> Please don't dance on your roof, especially if there's ice on it or snow. Don't do that. Okay? It's just a figure of speech, you guys. <laughs> but you understand, right? Don't make yourself miserable about things that happened that you can't change. Things that haven't happened yet that you can't change. And concentrate on the right now. Be that free spirit, that free flowing energy that you can be. Enjoy the moment and the big mess of it all, okay? Right. You have let go of things that you wanted to let go with this Eight of Cups. You have walked away. You have done the work that you've needed to do on yourself, okay? 
You've learned what you needed to learn. That was the whole point to all of those things. There's a point to everything. Concentrate on the now so that you can harmonize yourself. To meet those beautiful people that will help you and guide you. People who are going to be part of you, going to be part of your wonderful energy. They're going to make every day just a little better. Just a little better every single day, Pisces. <laughs> it really can rah. Okay. So you have the Hermit and the King of Pentacles. Right. Okay. So the Hermit is talking about introspection and a growth. Okay, with the King of Pentacles. So that's what we're talking about right now. We're talking about having an introspection, but in this case, having it in the now of being kind to yourself. Really, the introspection here, the message, that Hermit card, is that ships will come and ships will go, but you, you are the light of your own life. And when you are lending it to the past or the future, you are not letting it reside in you. Wow, oh, they're being really profound without my help at all, are they? <laughs> There's, there's been a few good ones this uh, in the second readings, really good ones. Thank God, I felt all scatterbrained this morning. So, yeah, I'm glad with this one. This one's good. So the King of Pentacles, gorgeous, beautiful, absolutely. A lot of growth. You know, right on top there, right on top. Love the earth energy, look at that. It's offering you a chance to really plant your feet down on the ground and see just how beautiful you are and how much you've grown. And they really want you to think about this. Think about this. I'm going to put these right here because I feel that this is the pathway. Okay, this one is the pathway of leading you into this. These are so important. If you're busy in the past and in the future, you're not looking at the energies around you in the right now. Okay? They're showing me somebody who is busy on their phone walking on the street. Okay, For those of you who love that love at first sight, maybe you've met them. Maybe you've crossed them on the street. But you were so busy on your phone thinking of what you're going to do next week or last week. Or trying to find something you did last week. Trying to plan something for next week. That you were looking down at your phone and you crossed that person and you never saw them. <gasps> My God, what are you going to do? Now you're going to lose sleep over that too? No, start changing things now. Let the opportunities come in in the right now. Okay? Little side note here. Um... I'm not saying to not ever plan anything again. I'm just saying don't live in planning your future every moment of every day. Take some time out to be who you are, okay? Mm, the Empress. So beautiful. So by doing this, what happens? By being in a now, by not focusing on what's past and what's gone, you're focusing on the right now. What can you do with your time right now? You can create. You can start creating the beautiful world that you want to see in your future. Today. Not planning on it. Not forever in the planning stages. Forever regretting what you didn't do. And forever, you know, planning what's never going to get done. Right now. You can create right now in the Empress. Bring that harmony in. Okay? Let yourself be shiny and new and beautiful and innovative. Use what you've learned from that part of you that was sad for a while. Okay? Build a holder so that those cups don't fall down. There you go. You got something good from that experience. I'm going to build something so the cups don't fall down. And then people won't have to stand there and look at them and and feel bad about it. There you go, you just became creative and you used what happened to you as a stepping stone into something else. Pretty deep, huh? <laughs> I thought so. Yeah, that was deep. That was really deep. I'm kidding, by the way. So, 
There you go, Pisces. What else? Oink. Well, really? Really? The lovers? <gasps> you don't say. You don't say. With the Five of Cups, again. <laughs> oh, I should, I should, these cards, I already told this story, Spirit. I already told this. This is going to bring creativity and harmony to your life by looking back on what went wrong to fix and, and, and fix it and make it right. In the now. The only time that you should reflect on things is to make them better. And I think that's the, that kind of sums it all up in this. Okay, You shouldn't live in it as in berating yourself for what you did wrong. You should only go back into the past to find solutions for today in the happy. Okay? So that you can bring harmony and happiness to in your life. No matter what the circumstances. I mean, look at that. This is a human and a bird. How does that happen? I don't know. But it looks like they're figuring it out. It's also a bird with a hand. But, you know. <laughs> um, I'm going to just say that this card is explaining how our differences don't need to work against us. Okay? You can find a solution to things. It is about bringing harmony back into your life. It really does all play a role. And it's going to be very important in the upcoming months and years. I know I keep harping on that and I keep mentioning that. But you know, like I said, Jupiter is something of... Um, is something that's going to make us really look at where we've been and where we're going. And to get us somewhere. To get us somewhere in the right now. Right. It's a brand new way of thinking. It's a brand new way of doing. It's a new, 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 new cycle. Something that you've never felt before. I have said that before, but this is like new in the way that... I mean, look how weird this card is, okay? I mean, honestly, it is a little weird. You got, you know, alligator or something with a flower at the end of his tail and she's walking. You know, like, this This is something that you'd see in Alice in Wonderland or something. This is, this has never been seen before. This is what I get from this. This is going to be something that we've never experienced before. It's going to be very good for us. And as Pisces, we're going to reap from it. Because it's going to be in our sign. So that's fantastic. So I'm just going to end. I've been, like I said, I've been studying the planets. I'm going to take this beautiful dice. And. <laughs> Neptune. Guess what, Pisces? Do you want to know which planet is ours? I'll give you three guesses. You only need one. <laughs> it would be Neptune. And what does Neptune represent? Tolerance, generosity, sensitivity and spirituality, receptivity, imagination, sometimes cloudiness and confusion. That's why I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm clearing out the clouds for you so that you can see what, what is up and where you're going, Pisces, okay? Sometimes it's illusion and unreality and delusion. Of course, we have the moon in there as well, right? So... The thing about it is, Pisces, is that you have the Queen of Swords, which in this case would be me. That's the card that I identify with. Or anybody in your life that brings clarity to the situation. That makes you see a different perspective. A friend who is there to help, who wants to empower you, who wants you to live your best self, your greatest life, and your best aspirations. And that's what I want to see Pisces do. I want you to not only go into your beautiful sign, not let anybody else criticize you for being the beautiful human that you are. After all, we were never designed to be perfect. We were designed to learn. And through that learning, we gain wisdom. And in that wisdom, we gain peace. And every day is a new lesson and a new journey. But hopefully, one that is more designed for you, where maybe the lane, the roads were 
you really big, but then you have a beautiful pathway designed just for you by the time you reach your ending. And that's what we're reaching for, Pisces. That's really what we're doing. And we want to do it without too much confusion. And we don't want to do it in total perfection because, like I said, this world is not perfect. We are not perfect. We're messy, beautiful human beings. Okay? And the more you, you fall back into that, but work on your now instead of living in the pain and the shame of the past and the hope of the future that you think will never come, it is more important to live in the right now. Anyway, I'm going to let you go with that. I think, I think that's good. I think that covers it. It was a very spiritual second reading for me, much more than the first one. The first one was a lot there's a lot of erratic energy, but in this one I feel a lot more grounded, a lot better. And I hope that this makes you feel, and I hope it makes you focus, especially in the weeks to come, to really accept who you are. At, at, the, at the foundation of this reading was really accepting who you've been, who you're going to be, and who you are right now. And enjoy everything about it. Or in the very least, get a perspective for it, per Pisces. Yeah. Just love yourself. Harmony. Lover's cards came out twice. Okay? Find that harmony. Find that commitment to yourself. Commit to loving who you are at every stage. And accepting yourself and your choices through your life. Yeah, that's a good one too. Thank you, Spirit, for your help. Thank you, Pisces, for coming here. I appreciate you so very much. I will see you in tomorrow's reading. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings. As always, take care of yourself.